important thing to know about the Anthropocene is that it puts people in a new position in relation to the rest of nature. Basically, humans have emerged as a force of nature on this planet. We are changing Earth's climate faster than at any time in the last 100,000 years as a result of increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere at rates faster than any time since the dinosaurs. So the Anthropocene first got its name at a conference in 2001 when a Nobel Prize winning atmospheric chemist, Paul Crutzen, was frustrated at his colleagues who were calling our time period the Holocene, the period of geologic time since the last ice age. From his point of view, everything had changed since the Industrial Revolution. The atmosphere had changed, so many things had changed that we should recognize a new time period changed by humans, the Anthropocene. We're changing the Earth in so many ways. What's controversial though is when did this begin? That's one of the controversies. When did humans really become a global shaper of the Earth? So the group that is responsible for recognizing the Anthropocene within the geologic time scale, the official geologic history of the Earth, the geologic time scale, uh, they are proposing to recognize the beginning of the Anthropocene in, around 1950 in uh, recognition of a time period of very rapid accelerations and in human-induced changes in the environment that has been known as the Great Acceleration. The middle of the 20th century is not the only proposed beginning for the Anthropocene. Two other major proposals are that the Anthropocene began very early with farmers first clearing the forests across the earth for agriculture, which happened at least 5,000 to 8,000 years ago. That released carbon dioxide and potentially changed climate. We also have the production of rice, which in those wet patties produces lots of methane. That methane release also changed Earth's climate 5,000 years ago. And you even have the proposal for beginning the Anthropocene in the year about 500 years ago with the Old World, New World collision, where you have uh, the Old World meeting the New World, bringing its diseases and other types of devastating uh, effects on the populations of the Americas, which caused a huge regrowth of forest and brought down carbon dioxide. One of the biggest questions about the Anthropocene is whether it should be considered to be a bad thing. Uh, and, and the reason that it's uh, a big question is because so many of the definitions of what humans are doing to this planet are negative things, like changing the climate and causing mass extinction. Uh, yet on the other hand, uh, the Anthropocene is not over, and it really remains to be seen what we're going to make of this human time period. The Anthropocene is really a new story about what humans are doing to the environment, what it even means to be human. Uh, and as a result, uh, you see every kind of idea from humans being the destroyers of this planet to humans being the salvation of this planet. Right now, about 90% of the Earth's Mammal biomass is humans and livestock, so we have become the most dominant mammal on Earth. We've also been putting so much plastic into the environment that if you take all the plastic that we've produced so far on Earth, we could wrap the entire planet in a thin layer of plastic film. We humans are going to shape the future of this planet. So what kind of planet are we going to shape? Are we going to shape it for the better, or are we going to continue to do what we've been doing so far and unintentionally creating a worse future for this planet, both for humans and for the rest of life on Earth. Mm -hmm.